Hi, my name is Jason. Let's connect the dots. In this video, I want to talk to you and explain six items to check while we reload. Item number one, we will make sure the tip of the bullet does not contact the inside of the seating stem. We want the radius of the seating stem to contact the ogive of the bullet. The reason? Bullet lengths vary. That's not the important length of a bullet. That's not the important measurement of a bullet. The important placement is where that ogive is located. And as long as the same point up die is used, the ogive will always be in the same spot. That's what we want to use to measure our seating depth. If your bullet does contact the inside, that means we are seating off the tip of the bullet instead of the ogive of the bullet. Item number two. We always want to make sure that the object we are measuring is square with the jaw of the caliper. And an easy way to do that, let's say I want to find the cartridge overall length. I put in my caliper and I simply put the caliper up to a light. At the light. And if there's any type of angle, I'll be able to see that between the jaw and the case head. I do that every single time I measure something. Item number three, we always want to make sure that there's a gap between the bushing and where the bushing sits on your resizing die. The way you do that is you insert your bushing, screw down your decapping rod, and then you want to shake it. And you want to be able to hear that bushing rattle. The reason we want your bushing to rattle is so that it can self-center over the case neck. When you tighten this down and you don't hear it rattle, that might move that bushing to one side or the other in your case neck, which would affect your neck tension. Always make sure you can hear that bushing rattle. Item number four. We want to make sure that the shell holder is sitting on the correct location or the correct surface of your press. Your shell holder has plane A and plane B. Your press has surface C and surface D. We want to make sure that plane A is sitting on top of surface C. An easy way to check that, insert your shell holder. I usually take a 2000 feeler gauge, 0 .002, and I stick it between plane B and surface D. If it fits in there, I know that there's a slight gap and that ensures that plane A is on top of surface C. Item number five, we want to make sure that we use the same die, press, and shell holder when we set the shoulder bump on our cases. If you change any one of those, you can affect how the shoulder is bumped on your case. To have consistent results, make sure that the press, the die, and the shell holder always stay together as one unit. Item number six, you can't always trust the number that is printed on your bushing. This was taught to me by a Hall of Fame bench rest shooter. Here's how it works. I have multiple 325 bushings. To show you how this works, I'm gonna take a bushing, and I painted this one black, the top of it. I 
going to take a case, and these cases have all been re, uh, annealed, so they should resize the same way each time. And this was 325 colored black. I'm going to measure the neck. And it is, I usually do this a couple times to get a good reading. Right at three two four, three two four three. Now, I'm going to take that bushing out. And I'm going to replace it with uh, the green one. So this is again 325, but this one's painted green. case. I'm going to resize this one. Three, two, four, seven ish. Three two four eight. Three two four six. Three two four eight. Three two four seven. I'm going three two four seven. So you can see that two different bushings can resize to different amounts. Don't think of it as good or bad. It's just something that you have to keep track of. The way that I keep track of it, inside of my bushing box, I have a piece of paper, and this one is for my three twenty four bushings. And it's based on color, and these numbers indicate what that bushing actually resizes to. Hopefully those six items give you something to think about and something to check the next time you reload. It's all about putting tools in your toolbox. Until next time, enjoy the experience.